jeudi. C'est bien l'aéroport de Firenze. Success ou champagne. Three luggage, elevator. Where are we going? I'm going to Italy. Let's go to Italy. And we're back. We are. So before I go back to Bali, we decided to go on a little girls trip Yay! to Italy. More precisely, we're going to Tuscany. We're meeting there our father. It's kind of a sister family vacation for a week and then back to Bali. But yeah, we're heading there and we're flying to Pisa. Quelle efficacité! Perfect! Yes! Lisa, the valet! <laughs> Alice. We have arrived in, where have we arrived? Pizza! And we slept like babies in the plane and now we're ready for some food. Where are we going? Because we're not staying here. Oh, we're not staying here. Where are we going? Oh, I think Florence. we're, oh yeah, we're going to Florence. We traveled, we, 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 we flew here, but we're staying in Florence. <laughs> Our dad lives in Nice, so he drove from there. He he booked our tickets. Okay? He booked it. He booked our tickets. That's why we didn't. And we've been looking for him at the airport, and he's like, "What? Well, I'm, I'm like, right there." Can't you see? Then he says, "You're at Firenze Airport, right?" I'm like, "No, no we're at Pisa." So we now have to wait for him. Why didn't we fly at Firenze Airport? Ask him. He's the one that <laughs> so he's the one that did the, all the logistics, and he's the one that is not here. <laughs> so let's wait. But it's a cute airport. It's a cute airport. Let's find a spot. It's my hair. It's my hair. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are at our hotel, which is the Hotel Casa Grande. Uh, we were half an hour from Firenze. We wanted a hotel where we could chill at the pool because it is 30 degrees. Um, but today is a little cloudy, so we thought it was the right time to go and uh, explore Firenze. Here we are. We're going to Firenze. Look, so I'm in white, and she's always in black. She's the ying to my yang. heading to the Gucci garden to have the lunch <laughs> which we don't know we're gonna we don't know if we'll be able to actually have lunch because we couldn't get anyone on the phone to book a table so we'll see we'll see if today is a day of failure or a day of, uh, of big luck <laughs> fail number one uh, you absolutely need a reservation for the Gucci restaurant uh, and then the little garden is just like light bites but we're not here to eat light, right? So we're going somewhere else. This is the Gucci garden right here. So this is where you can have like light bites and then right in the back right here is the Osteria by Massimo Bottura which is the one that you need to absolutely have a reservation. Different how? It's more um, amer. Ah, ouais. How do you say amer in English? Bitter. Bitter. Good English. We didn't have much time, so we got these little mini sandwich. Mm. Do you like it? <laughs> We've had lunch right here. Super cute. Now heading out to Duomo to visit. Uh, our father actually <laughs> booked a guided visit, so we'll see how that goes. It's a 45 minutes express 
uh, guided visits. So, oops. so we'll do that. It is a great tip because we paid 20 euros, we got a very quick visit and we got to cut the line that is super long and it's so hot and I don't recommend doing the line because you die and it was a very quick like explanation but it's very interesting because you wouldn't like understand anything just like going around the Duomo so she gave some very interesting and nice like information about it, it was super quick. It was Loved it. Definitely recommend getting a guide. <laughs> Guys, this is what it looks like to eat ice cream when it's 40 degrees. It's impossible. <laughs> we are arriving at Piazza Michelangelo, which is a tip from my sister, and she said there's a beautiful view up there, so I'll show you where we're going. So it's up the hill over there. We have arrived and look at this insane view. I have spotted an insanely beautiful place. Look at this guys. Look at this place guys. This is exactly where I want to take my afternoon coffee. Someone's falling asleep. This is the place called La Loggia and it's with a beautiful view. Hello guys, day two. We didn't know about this, but 10 minutes away from our hotel, sorry, catching the sun. 10 minutes away from our hotel, there is a mall, like an outlet mall where they sell like all these luxury brands. Um, so we're gonna go there for an hour and check it out and then we're heading out for like dinner and sunset to a really nice uh, hotel 20 minutes away from Florence so let's do this oh we have arrived at it's called the mall Firenze and this is how it is like you literally have the shops like this like Prada but you have Gucci there it's literally oh my god you have coach you have Givenchy. Are we ready, Lisa? Yeah! Let's shop! It's literally a city. We were at Saint Laurent. And so the prices are like a pair of shoes is usually a thousand, thousand two hundred. And here it's 250, 360 euros. So it's really a good deal. It's, I thought it was gonna be super old collections, but you have some things from like last year. So it's really good. So it's very nice. I've never been to an outlet mall like this. Me too. It's so much fun. My heart is racing. I mean, look at this. It looks like a... That's where we're looking for Jimmy Choo. It looks like a American campus. So, this one better. They're pretty. Very pretty. But One's even next better. to the bag. Yeah, next to, even next to the bag, they look better. What? I prefer those. No. I prefer the other ones. The... They're perfect. Are they my size? They are your size. They're perfect. 
take them. Yeah. Successful shopping. Got what a pair of heels at Saint Laurent. Perfect heels. That I think are very me. Very high. They are black. And they have like a... What is, a like a piercing... Yeah. Thing? Like, I don't know. Piercing detail. Yeah. They're beautiful. I'll show you. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. It's a and beautiful it, piece. Let's be honest, it was a great deal. Two best brands were Bottega Veneta and Saint Laurent because they had like new pieces and the discounts were really good especially at Bottega Veneta like on the bags it was 800 euros and you still had an additional 20% off uh, Saint Laurent shoes were really good except bags they had great pieces in bags but there wasn't a really big difference with the price in stores right now we are arriving at Villa San Michele. Beautiful! <laughs> wow! 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 We have arrived at Villa San Michele and it is a Italian dream. I mean, look at this, guys. It's insane. So, we're having aperitivo right here and then we're gonna have dinner up there and I can't wait. Wow! Oh my god, the footage I'm making. It's beautiful! Let's go back to the aperitivo. I mean, this place is insane. I recommend it a hundred percent. If you come and have dinner or have an aperitivo, it's an Italian dream. The whole place is stunning and so romantic. It's like, I mean, look at this entrance. So it used to be a monastery and it transformed into a hotel and it's beautiful, the food was delicious, the place is beautiful, at night you still had the jazz band. It, it was just dreamy and I recommend 100% coming over here to have dinner. Now we are heading back to Firenze to have our favorite ice cream. The ice cream we had yesterday was so good that we're like, this is our dessert spot. So we're going there now. The uh, gelateria closes in 20 minutes and we are 20 minutes away by walk because, fun fact about Firenze, it's completely closed off for cars, except like if you have some kind of pass or something. So we had to park our car and we're now we're like running quickly to get there because we cannot imagine going to bed without having the best ice cream ever we have arrived and clearly we're not the only one that wants to have the best ice cream in town <laughs> ice cream with a view <laughs> which flavor did you take coconut and ricotta and... Oh, figure. 
Sig Je t'ai déjà dit Oh <laughs> By far the best ice cream I have ever had. You? This is just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10? Yeah. It's what? 10 out of 10? Yes. <laughs> He's camera shy. <laughs> you guys, look how incredibly beautiful and romantic is Firenze by night. Stunning. Ice cream stop done. We're so happy. We got to end up on a little sweet, sweet taste um, and now it's time for bed but officially I hadn't been here in Florence for a few years and it's officially one of the most beautiful city of Italy if it's not the most beautiful like it's stunning it's like so romantic so beautiful everywhere you look at it's beautiful um, so yeah I was very glad to rediscover this city once again we are leaving tomorrow and heading out to other places in Tuscany. So see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>